I'm Storm Tracker AT meteorologist Austin Haskins with your Tuesday weather forecast. It was a cold and blustery Monday across the Chippewa Valley. Our high temperature occurred just after midnight, right around 19 degrees. Most of the day yesterday we were leveling off right around 13 to 15 degrees. But with that brisk west to northwest wind, you can see on the bottom here, the wind chill value stayed in the single digits to near zero throughout the day. Even a couple of times it did briefly dip below zero in Eau Claire and our low temperatures so far this morning has been down in the single digits which would mark the first day at or below 10 degrees in Eau Claire for the season. The average first date is November 22nd, the earliest October 28th of 1909 and the latest on Christmas Day in 1918. And on average we average in November and December about 17 days at or below 10 degrees for that low temperature. The last year, our first day at or below 10 degrees was November 19th, and we had 20 days at or below 10 degrees in the month of November and December. Now, the good news is we will be seeing some moderating temperatures over the coming days, and we'll start with an increase in the cloud cover today as a warm front will pass through. And we're going to get a south to southwest wind kick in. It will get a little breezy at times in the afternoon and evening hours. But tonight, as the warm front passes through, there could be a couple of light snow showers and flurries around the UP and Michigan into northeast Wisconsin. Maybe a flurry or two in parts of Rusk and Taylor counties. But I think we're going to be, end up being pretty dry through the day and into tonight. The clouds will actually decrease. They'll come back a little bit tomorrow morning, but most of tomorrow we're looking at plenty of sunshine and milder temperatures with a more westerly breeze. Then as we end to Thursday, temperatures go down just a smidge as a weak cold front passes through and we get more of a west to northwesterly flow that will take over. And that'll set the stage for some slightly cooler temperatures even more on Friday, but even that will be right where we should be at for this time of the year. And as far as precip chances go, again, I just have a 1 out of 10 chance for maybe a stray flurry along that warm front. Our next chance for precip, a slight chance at that, Saturday night into Monday of next week. That could be in the form of rain, snow, and or a wintry mix. And there's still some inconsistency on the timing and the track of the system and how it will all play out. So we will keep you updated on that as we get closer uh, to that date. High temperatures today generally in the mid to upper 20s. And one thing to keep in mind is our high temperature is likely going to occur after sunset tonight, sometime during the evening hours. And then our lows tonight are going to level off generally in the upper teens and low 20s. And in some cases, temperatures may go up a little bit in a few areas, but most areas will see the temperature stay steady or maybe going down just a few degrees. But look at the difference tomorrow. High is Mid to upper 30s northeast, further south and west, we have a chance of at least getting into the low 40s. So that'll certainly feel a lot nicer than what we've seen over the last day or so. And we'll stay mostly in the 30s going forward. And again, there's that small chance for some precipitation Saturday night through Monday.